guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I do have a weigh-in video for you guys. Last week was my first weigh-in in a long, long time, and this week went pretty well. I'm glad to be back. So last week when I weighed in, I was 205.8 pounds, and then I set a goal of losing two pounds this week, which I used to not do. I used to never set um, pound goals per week, but I thought maybe it would keep me motivated, so that's something new that I'm trying out. And so I did set a goal of losing two pounds and I did not reach my goal sadly, but I am really excited because I did weigh in this morning and I was 204.4 pounds. So that's about a pound and a half lost. So I'm really, really happy about that. I tell you a few things that I have been doing. I also did set a goal of working out four times this week, which I did accomplish. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what my workouts have been already, but I will just run through them really quick. Last week I told you that our apartment complex has a gym, like a little workout room that is free to us, so I did go and check that out. That was my first workout this week, and it's a tiny workout room. I don't know how often I will go there. It is still nice to have, but it's not as useful as I would like. It has two treadmills, two bikes, an elliptical, and one of those like home gym machines where it's one machine that does all sorts of weights and things, which I really need to learn how to use if I'm going to be using it because honestly like half the time I was there okay so I did like 20 or 25 minutes on the elliptical I don't remember but then I decided that, that I was going to do some weightlifting on this machine but half the time I was just trying to figure out how to use it and what to do with it so that's something I really have to figure out if I'm going to be doing that and then the other three workouts this week were doing stairs. I, I live on the second floor of my apartment, so I just literally go outside of my door and walk up and down the stairs for 20 to 25 minutes, and by the end of it, I am a hot, sweaty mess. It is so hard, and I've really been enjoying it because although it can be sort of tedious or boring, I just turn on Netflix and turn on the show I've been watching and watch it, and so I kind of keep my mind occupied that way, and I also, it's a great leg workout. It's a great cardio workout. It's great for my butt. So that is something that I did do three times this week and then one day alongside that I did a strength training exercise just at home where I used my little five pound free weights and did some arms and chest and things like that. So yeah, that's what I did for working. I didn't count calories or anything like that. I just tried to really um, not overeat and make better choices, not eat out as much, which is something I'm really improving on. We used to eat out all the time and that has really slow down a lot now we'll maybe eat out about once a week if that I've been cooking a lot more at home so um, that has been that's been keeping my calories I feel like in a much better range because just eating out one meal is so high calorically um, so I you know I wasn't perfect this week especially with Halloween we have so much Halloween candy around so the house. I did have a few pieces of Halloween candy this week and it's kind of almost easier for me to just completely avoid it than to limit myself because once I have one piece of chocolate I want to have 15 pieces of chocolate so like I said I have been able to have one or two here and there but really it's just easier for me to avoid it completely otherwise I feel like I can't control myself and then um, yeah besides that I've been doing really really good and then so another thing that I've been doing which I feel like has made a huge difference is drinking half a gallon of water a day and that's 64 ounces so technically I should be drinking more than that every single day anyways but that's a huge improvement to the amount of water I was drinking previously so I am pretty glad about that I actually this is just like a Gatorade bottle and this is half a gallon and so I just kind of fill it up and bring it around with me and for me having a huge container filled with water that I just have to drink one of these is much easier mentally than like Oh, I have to drink nine of these little glasses of water you know what I mean so that's been my goal and I've reached it every single day except for one so six out of the seven days I did manage to drink half a gallon of water which has really been helping I think in my weight loss so yeah that's how my week has been going I don't have too much else to share with you guys um, I lost about a pound and a half this week if you have any questions for me feel free to let me me know down below and I will try to answer those for you and also let me know how you're doing are you on a weight loss journey are you trying to get healthier just let me know I can't wait to hear from you guys and I did want to just let you know really quick that in this video I will not be setting goals for next week because it's going to be 
quite different next week. I plan on doing the wheat belly diet for 10 days as sort of an experiment. And, um, you know, I've read so much about it and the claims are huge and it just sounds too good to be true. So I kind of just want to test that out and see how it goes. So um, I will either tomorrow or in the next few days, I'm going to go shopping and really prepare for that diet. And I will make a video explaining it to you guys, letting you know what I bought, what I will be eating, what the claims are of that diet. So my next few videos are all going to be about the wheat belly diet. And I am really, really excited to test it out, see how I feel, test the claims. So stay tuned for that because if it is a miracle diet, I will sure, for sure let you guys know. I don't really know what to expect at this point, but I am really excited about it. So like I said, next week I'm not going to have specific weight goal set. Um, I do want to work out four times again. Hopefully I can get that done. And like I said, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can see all the workouts I do and how I look after I'm, I've been sweating. So um, yeah, that's all I really got for you guys right now. If you haven't, please subscribe and you can follow the rest of my journey. And even if you want to just follow the Wheat Belly experiment, I would love to have you. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.